Hello, my fabulous Taurus people. I am so happy to be back. I missed you guys. It is always an honor to do your readings because you guys, collectively speaking, have such beautiful energy. So whenever I'm not here with you, I miss you guys. So I'm very happy to be back. Let's do this, Taurus. So we're going to find out what's coming towards you. What's um, What will be the uh, situations uh, presenting themselves in your life? How to best cope with it for your highest good? And of course, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you are thinking of uh, <clears throat> while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. We're going to ask what's going on with them in their life that you are allowed to see for your highest good. And of course, we're going to ask how your soulmate is currently relating to you at this time, especially emotionally. What's in their head? What are they thinking, planning? <clears throat> so let's see. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Taurus. For Taurus, highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Taurus? What will Taurus be dealing with, facing? What's coming towards Taurus? Wow, you're showing up here. Position one, Ace of Swords, as very intelligent, perceptive. Uh, cautious, careful, you see right through the illusion. So whenever you have people in your life, whether they are your family members, co-workers, friends, neighbors, that are either dishonest or shady, you see right through the BS. You see right through the lies, deception, illusion. You are very perceptive, intelligent. Wow, two aces back to back. Ace of Swords with Ace of Wands. Wow, you have some important talents that you possess. Um, whatever your talents are, keep following your passion. Uh, some of you may be great at painting, creating music, writing lyrics, drawing. Whatever it is you do, psychic work. You could be doing energy work. This is energy. Ace of Wands, you could be doing energy work like Reiki, whatever it is you're doing, continue doing it. This is beautiful. Wow. So you have so many ideas that you want to pursue, so many different ideas, things you would like to do. Beautiful. Whatever you have passion for, if you keep being proactive and follow your passion, you could... Uh, be very profitable financially while helping other people through your service whatever it is you love doing you also in return will make great profit this is absolutely beautiful a lot of you have interesting business ideas so remember you're going to succeed as long as you keep being proactive and follow your passions whatever it is you have passion for and number one to remember is that we are all here to service, to provide service for others, to help each other. As long as we keep remembering that, that we are here to help other people around us, we're going to be successful. We are all here to help each other. And as long as you keep being passionate and uh, follow your passion and being proactive, you're going to be... Uh, profitable, successful, and helping other people at the same time. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Three of swords with two of swords in five of swords. I'm curious what's going to show up right above the five of swords. Wow. Somebody wanting to bring you a solid relationship. This is also speaking of another thing, you being profitable, you having ideas about working for yourself, or if for those of you that are already working for yourself, you have other ideas where you would be more successful, meaning helping more people. Yeah, helping more people. Uh, this is beautiful. This also means a lot of you have your soulmate who wants to come in with solid offer of commitment um, they slow to movement but this is the only night that i trust knight of pentacles yes they are slow 
but once they come in they come in with solid offer not cheap talk or empty promises this person has a lot of passion for you too wow you are very wise uh, you showing up here like a Virgo with the hermit some of you may be dealing with the Virgo but this is more about you this is you loving yourself saying yes to all beautiful energy around you and at the same time helping people helping other people where, whether you realize it or not you are an example to others around you <clears throat> how you conduct yourself how you respect yourself how you keep your standards high is an example to other people around you so people respect you people view you as a wise one a wise sage somebody who's very wise has a lot of wisdom this is beautiful this is you being introspective here it is so you have all these talents you are being very introspective and trying to figure out the best way to proceed in life wow look at this on top of ten of pentacles is another ten of pentacles from another deck my goodness so listen uh, Taurus whatever it is that you have on your mind whether you are thinking of expanding your current business or going into your your business opening your own business you're gonna be very profitable and successful which means you're also gonna help a lot of people um, yeah provide great service so as long as you keep being proactive and follow your passion whatever it is you have passion for for a lot of you could be spiritual work like maybe doing readings maybe doing Reiki uh, energy uh, whatever it is that you want painting uh, singing whatever it is that you have passion for and have talent in you're gonna succeed here it is success wow <clears throat> so you have you guarded emotionally because you've been through a lot of heartbreak in your life not just in romantic relationships but also friendships uh, business relationships co-worker relationships family relationships people have disappointed you greatly uh, look at this this is you prosperous look at this you're showing up as Virgo you're very grounded you're very grounded uh, there is somebody in your life that is a Virgo that's very loving caring towards you could be your family member uh, best friend somebody who is a Virgo that truly loves you cares for you but here it shows uh, you being guarded emotionally you being very wise protecting your heart you you've been through a lot of heartbreak in your life this is you healing this is you healing from heartbreak yeah after five of swords is the six of swords this is you moving forward with your life not looking back at any nonsense you've learned whatever lessons you needed to learn through those challenging relationships whether they were family friend or romantic and you're moving on with your life taking your lessons with you moving forward fearlessly taking proper action being proactive this is beautiful justice yeah you're gonna help people you're gonna help a lot of people justice is very good energy this shows here that as long as you do things the right way meaning honorably whatever is honorable and keep your standards high this you're gonna be a winner and people around you are learning from you uh, benefiting from you and you benefiting in return beautiful look at this look at this this is beautiful combination justice with wheel of fortune some of you are dealing with the Virgo very strong Virgo in your life also um, uh, Libra and Leo showing up here lion holding the sword of truth ace of swords you are gonna succeed Taurus you are gonna succeed whatever it is uh, this is this is destined this is destined 
uh, with that kind of beautiful energy that you possess, you are going to succeed and you are going to help a lot of people. For those of you that feel scattered with ideas, not sure which way to go, you have a lot of inner wisdom. You will know if you're confused right now or scattered or feel like unstable uh, with your thoughts, meaning unable to make up your mind which way to venture out, be patient with yourself. With this beautiful energy that's showing up on you, Hermit, it shows you have a lot of you know, wisdom. And whenever you feel doubtful, go through prayer meditation and ask for assistance and listen to your intuition. That's how our guides, universe, communicate with us through our intuition. Leo energy. A lot of you are dealing with the Leo strength card. Devil energy. Let me see what that's about. Universe, please clarify these uh, this devil energy with two, at least two. Wow. So you are letting go of, yeah, this is you healing your heart. You're showing up here as queen of cups, healing your heart and letting go, releasing toxic people from your life and major change coming to your life as a result. You're releasing all the pain, negativity, uh, disappointments in relationships, disappointments in people that have wronged you or hurt you or disappointed you or feel that took advantage of you. You are releasing all that toxic energy and here it is. Major change, transformation coming to your life as a result. Transformation that has to do with the spiritual. So you have graduated spiritually. This is beautiful. This is you. Um, helping people learn and you learning as well. This is major transformation coming to you. Here it is, the death card. Some of you may be dealing with Capricorn, also Scorpio. Also, I feel a lot of Gemini energy. Yeah, Gemini energy. And uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries and air signs as well. Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. My goodness, you have so much good energy showing up here for you. You will know, if you feel confused right now how to proceed, you will know, and this is prosperity, not just financial, but also emotional. Yeah, health also, very important. Wow, I'm loving your energy, Taurus. Always, always come out so beautifully. Let me see your soulmate. What's going on with them? Whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video. For most of you, it's going to be your romantic interest. And for some of you, it's going to be your family members, close friends, whoever it is. Soulmate, it doesn't always mean romantic. Soulmate means somebody that you know on a soul level from other lifetimes, from different relationships, family relationships, friendships, co-worker relationships. Yeah, universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Taurus. For Taurus, highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Taurus, no matter what sign or gender they are collectively, what is going on in the soulmate's life? What is the soulmate of Taurus dealing with, facing in the life that Taurus is allowed to see for the highest good? And how is the soulmate of Taurus currently relating to Taurus, especially emotionally? What is going on in their head? Here's the soulmate. <clears throat> yeah, so again, they're showing up here as knight of pentacles from another deck so this person even though very slow to movement once they come in they come in with solid offer not cheap talk empty promises or mind games for a lot of you this is a earth sign which would be the best for taurus actually uh yeah another earth sign would be the best for you uh for long-term relationship grounded sign taurus Virgo, Capricorn. This is a beautiful energy. Yes, they slow to movement, but they are preparing themselves for something solid. They're going to come in with something solid, not cheap talk or empty promises. Wow. So this person views you as very attractive, powerful, charismatic, 
uh, independent, not needing anybody for anything, not needy. Uh, yeah, they they very attracted to you. Mm hmm. They are thinking of offering something serious. So this person in the past was uh, bored uh, with their past relationships. Uh, but they see you as different from their past relationships. They see you as worthy. This person has high standards. And a person who has high standards is going to uh, take their sweet time. Uh, yeah, to come in. Uh, yeah, this is a good sign. This person has high standards. Most likely an earth sign. Yeah, they want to come in with an uh, offer. Emotional offer. Yeah, they feel like it's weighing on them heavily. Because this person wants to come in at the right time. With the right energy. They just don't want to rush in like a knight of wands would have. Uh, Knight of Wands to me is a troublemaker, is a player energy. Usually when a person, especially a man, is showing up as a Knight of Wands, that means uh, he has one thing on his mind. He wants a one night stand, two night stand, three night stand at the most, and then he's going to rush out the door as quickly as he came in. I don't trust Knight of Wands in love readings, but this is the only night that I truly trust. <coughs> Excuse me. This person is busy with work. They have a lot on their shoulders. Very busy with work. Pulled in different directions. A lot of responsibilities. Wow. So you do know this person on a soul level. Here it is. The star card holding the two of cups. You know each other on a soul level from other lifetimes. Beautiful. Some of you may be dealing with Aquarius. Wow, so when this person uh, doesn't see you or talk to you or is in touch with you, they miss you. So this person does miss you. But what I like about them, also what I'm feeling here, is that this person is very selective, has high standards, and they would rather be alone than be with somebody who is mediocre or who's just anybody. This person is very selective. They would rather be alone than be with uh, just anyone uh, for the sake of it, for the sake of having a relationship. Um, yeah, they picky. Wow, I'm curious what's gonna show up on top of, on top of the tower. Yeah, you see, they want to come in with solid offer. This is solid offer. Uh, in a love reading, this is husband uh, and wife material, uh, lifetime commitment. So just like here, you see them coming in slowly with an offer. Here they are. They are the type who is very much responsible for whatever they do for a living. They take their job or business very seriously. And they are a provider type. So this person would like to be a provider uh, provide financially, uh, be resourceful. This is beautiful. I'm very curious what's going to show up above the tower universe. What's going on with the soulmate? The soulmate of Taurus. Wow. Yeah. This person, once they come in, they're going to come in with solid offer and will want to work on a relationship. So this person is not promiscuous. This person is not going to be running around, sleeping around with different people. This person is serious about commitment. Wow, this person has feelings for you, but they're hiding it. So for those of you, Taurus, that already know this person, that have already met this person, uh, this person is hiding how they currently feel about you. This is secret love, unexpressed love. Uh, and for those of you, the small percentage of you that haven't met this person yet, this shows this person is looking for that kind of commitment, serious monogamous commitment. Yeah, this is beautiful. Wow. So you're going to be surprised when you get this offer. You're going to be surprised. 
you see look how beautiful that is so here is the ace of pentacles that they holding in this card and in this card this person is very stable grounded successful monogamous they're not into running around with 10 different people they're not into one night stand two night stand three night stand this person is serious i want to clarify this tower with two more energies but before i do that i want to show you here with the ten of wands king of pentacles ace of pentacles this person is very much concentrating right now on their business their trade their job they're doing well for themselves they're very diligent workers very resourceful and good with business let me clarify this tower energy on the soulmate of taurus please yeah they want to come in with reciprocity so they're gonna come in giving yeah they working too much though again 10 of wands from two different uh decks this person has too many responsibilities but they love they love a good challenge with work look at this communication back and forth communication yeah right underneath the messenger page of wands all pages are messengers here it is right underneath the messenger you see eight of wands back and forth communication wow this person is loving this person respects themselves they have integrity self-respect uh, that's how you can tell if a person has self-respect self-love how they treat other people so for example if you come across a player who runs around and sleeps around like there's no tomorrow uh, that means that person needs to learn desperately self-love okay anybody who's promiscuous running around with different people that person truly needs to desperately learn self-love yeah so wow i just looked on the bottom of the deck death card so major transformation coming to your life maybe the way you view relationships the way you see life spiritually with your spiritual eyes wow i see underneath death i see two kings king of swords king of wands so there's more than one person interested in you and page of cups wanting to offer you love commitment and they view you as very grounded queen of pentacles which represents virgo taurus capricorn so they view you as wife material husband material solid uh into serious things not uh frivolous not promiscuous they they have a lot of respect for you they view you as good with business uh wise with uh financial matters hmm let me see these two over here let me clarify these two towards you so one they could be any sign whatsoever usually swords represent uh aquarius libra gemini and uh ones represent fire signs leo sagittarius aries but they could be any sign this one is more reserved emotionally not showing their emotions easily very perceptive strategic can be very judgmental wise intellectual like a judge and this one is attractive courageous charismatic good with business popular is not scared to take action wow wow they both working a lot eight of wands reversed and the sun so for a lot of you this could be a leo the sun card uh this person is surprised to meet somebody of your quality because there's so many uh disgusting people out there running around sleeping around uh yeah and they both showing up as men so most likely you for most of you you are a female uh watching this video but it also could be reversed they showing up here as powerful let me see what's up with this uh reversed reversed eight of pentacles so this person is not looking for other people or at other people yeah 
this person walked away from people that are toxic this person is very picky this one also but this one is extremely picky showing up as king of swords uh could be any sign so you have more than one admirer um interesting uh, so the one you thinking of while watching this video, that's the one we're going to do extended reading about. However, at the end of the reading, when we ask for advice, anything can show up, not just about the person you're thinking of, but also the other person and anything about your life, whether it's your health, finances, job, business, family, friendships is going to show up again. So let's do the extended reading and ask about your soulmate's current true long term intentions and plans for you at this time. Anything they hiding from you have up their sleeve, whether they doing it purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from uh, universe, from spirit uh, on anything you need to know, not just your soulmate connection and how to handle them, but anything, whether it's your health, finances, job, business, friendships, whatever it is they will show it at the end of the reading as well so uh taurus click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys